Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I set up my bullet journal for the month of March. And this is a bit of a different style video. Normally, I show you guys when it's already done, but I'm showing you how I'm actually doing it. And I want to, one, apologize for some of the camera angles. My tripod is broken and it was really difficult for me to get this overhead shot. And also, I normally always plan out my layout for every month and this month I didn't plan it whatsoever. I kind of just went in with an, an idea of like I wanted it to be really simple and I came up with this line and dot kind of concept. So I mean I didn't really like it at first but the more that I'm looking at it and filling some things out I, I'm actually like really happy with it. I think it's nice and simple. And overall, the entire layout took me about an hour and a half to do, which is not bad because normally when I do layouts, I take a few pages at a time and I work on them and it usually takes me days. So it definitely was a lot quicker than some of my previous layouts. Now in this section, I'm just recreating my monthly calendar. I really loved the monthly calendar that I've been using since the beginning of January. So it's kind of like a two page calendar and I can create a custom calendar where I can put the next week or two of the following month into it which really helps me when I'm planning out my bills and my expenses so that's the reason why I do that and I'm gonna kind of just cut some of this out because it's pretty boring basically all that I did was recreate the same calendar and then on the side I wrote March and did my little line and green dot design and then I colored all of the top bars in green and I left it at that. It was super simple and I really like the way that it turned out. And this is my expenses tracker. I use this like a check register. I use my cute little simple line and green dot design and then I have a section for the date, the item, if it's a deposit or a withdrawal, and then the new total. This really helps me just stay on track of how much I have in my account once my bills are paid. I went over into the other page just because I was scared that I wasn't going to have enough with March being a 31 day month. I was able to get away with one page last month because it was only 28 dates. Then down at the bottom I have my expense tracker where I just write the date, the bill, how much I plan to pay, how much I actually pay, and then I check it off in the next column if once it's paid. And if you see here, I did mess up my <laughs> green lines, but that's totally okay because we're not striving for perfection, we're striving for functionality. Now on this next page is going to be a quote, but I decided to work on the daily goals page because I wasn't sure of the quote and this page takes quite a while because you're writing out all the individual dates and I like to do it in pencil first just to make sure that they're going to look right. But as you see, once I finish it, it is a little bit off lopsided and not completely symmetrical, but you know what? We're not perfect. It's totally fine. So my personal daily goals are to practice my gratitude every day to not use my credit card, to practice Spanish, to exercise, to spend my time with God, and to be up before 7 a.m. So I feel like these little daily goals are just gonna overall help me with all of my big goals for the year and the next few years. So I think that it's really important to kind of track that. And I did the cute little green dot and line design. I actually really liked it. It was really simple and I don't know, it, it, I just really enjoyed it. And I cut out filling in all of those little calendars with the fine liner, but here I just put a little quote, a goal is just a dream with a deadline, and then I did a little design there because it really, I think it's true. And I kind of messed it up when I put these boxes around, but you know what, it's fine. And then on the next page, I decided to look for a quote that I wanted to use, so I just wound up looking on Pinterest for that. And I found one that I really liked. It says, trust this plan for your life. You're exactly where you need to be. Because sometimes I do get discouraged thinking I'm not where I want to be or where I should be right now. But it's always good to take a step back and just remember that, you know, don't worry. You are exactly where you need to be right now. And everything that you're going through right now is just to help you in your future. So, so yeah, in the end, I really liked how it turned out. It is a lot of green, but I don't know. It's cute and inspirational. So I like it. On this page, I decided to do a quote that says, be a light in this world because sometimes I really struggle and at the end of the day, that's really what I want to be. So I thought it would be nice to include that right here because on the next page is going to be my mood tracker. So it just kind of 
helps me remember to try to be the best version of myself that I can be even when things aren't necessarily going the way that I'd want them to. And then over on the next page, I did my mood tracker and I love how this turned out. I first outlined it all in pencil just because I didn't want it to look completely stupid. Usually when I go right in with the pen, things don't look as I envision them in my head. So I really liked this and I realized I did make a few mistakes. I realized I actually put hey, I made through the day instead of hey, I made it through the day, but it's totally fine. I know what I'm talking about and I'm sure you guys do too. So yeah, I really loved how this turned out in the end. I wound up taking out my Spanish section because I'm using a new app right now to practice my Spanish. So here I just put a brain dump page. I didn't quite utilize it last month, but I feel like I might, so I just kept it in this month just to see again if I do use it like I plan and then I have my grocery lists here on the next page and I just stuck with the same green circle and dashed line theme I guess this would be and I realized that there is actually five weeks in this month so I needed to make a fifth column for the fifth week and I know that they're not perfect but you know what I'm not perfect and it's totally fine. I also misjudged over here, I decided to do my weekly spread and I thought, oh, let me put a quote, but I totally messed up that one page, so I just glued it together and I started on a new page. I'm not totally thrilled with how this looks, but you know what, it's fine, there's always next month I can try to plan to do it a little bit better. But like I said, I went in with no plan, I just kind of like went for it with this one and I'm not upset with how it turned out for not having a plan. I feel like I feel like it was actually decent for having no plan, no idea of what I wanted to do. And again, I did all my weeklies the same. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I realized at the last two months I just did not have enough space to write down everything that I needed. So I'm going to try this out and see how it goes, but I think eventually I'm going to have to move to a two-page spread for each week because that just seems to be how my life's going, but we'll see how it goes for the month of March. If I need to make any changes, I can always do that by gluing some pages together and redoing them, or just implementing a new style in next month. So that is it for this month's bullet journal layout. I hope that you guys like the new style of video and doing it with me. I hope that you liked my little introductions on how I use each page, so I hope that you found it helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be putting out a bullet journal video every month for you guys to see how I do my layouts. And I'm not the most artistic, so you know I try my best. And if you're not artistic, I hope this inspires you that you too can have a pretty cute bullet journal that's functional for your life. So I hope you guys liked it. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see all of you in the next video.